Madrid is a city that is home to two different football clubs of international acclaim. One is Real Madrid, the other is Atletico Madrid. He run out Atletico Madrid in English. The red and the white stripes against the plain white. So where does this derby come from? El Derby Madrileño, the Madrid derby. What is the history and the origins of this rivalry between these football clubs? And what can we say about it today? Well, to find out a little more, let's go back to 1902 and the founding of Madrid Football Club, the club that would go on to become Real Madrid. Now, at this time, this was the richest club in Madrid. And despite the fact that there were many more football teams that had sprung up in Madrid, because they had financial backing behind them, they were either able to take over these clubs and incorporate their best players or simply to buy their best players from the clubs and so completely outcompete them. And so before long, this was the best football club in Madrid and indeed largely in Spain because they had enough money to pay for good players and to tidy up any other clubs that stood in their way. But in 1903, a spanner would be thrown into the works. And this was the foundation of Athletic Club Madrid, the second football team in Madrid that was able to stand up against this football club Madrid because they had backing from a parent company. And this was the Athletic Club Bilbao from the Basque country. And because this was a parent club, they were able to supply them with money and indeed with players. And so they could resist any buyouts of players and the whole club by the Madrid football club. So why did this situation come about? Well, that's because in 1903, the Copa del Rey final was played and Athletic Club Bilbao beat Real Madrid in the city of Madrid itself with 3-2, going on to win the cup for themselves. Now, at this time, many Basques, which is where Bilbao is, it's in the Basque country, had moved to Madrid. And so many of those expat Basques had come along to the game and, of course, supported Athletic Club Bilbao. And it's because of this Basque support inside the city that the owners of Athletic Club Bilbao considered making their own daughter club inside Madrid itself. And that is indeed where we get Athletic Club Madrid, which of course has the same red and white stripes and a very similar name to Athletic Club Bilbao because of this connection. And this really is the groundwork for the rivalry between Athletic Club Bilbao and Real Madrid. Athletic Club Bilbao was also able to take over many of the supporters from those previous Madrid clubs that had been bought up by Real Madrid. And those people with a grudge against Real Madrid for taking over their own clubs or taking their best players flocked to support this new Athletic Club Madrid, who became their biggest rivals. In 1920, the Madrid Football Club would get its famous moniker of Real Madrid from King Alfonso VIII of Spain, making it an official royal club club in Spain. Of course, Real is simply the Spanish word for royal, and so Real Madrid was Royal Madrid. This added a somewhat new dimension to the rivalry with Atletico Madrid, now that Real Madrid had this uh, royal backing. Now, in 1931, in the foundation of the Second Spanish Republic, Real Madrid would, of course, lose its Real status as there was no longer a king in Spain, but that connotation would be laid. However, it's not to say that Real Madrid was completely monarchist and right-wing from the start, because it's known that during the Spanish Civil War, players of Real Madrid joined up with the Republican forces in the defense of Madrid against the uh, forces of Francisco Franco and the nationalists who were attacking Madrid. Uh, during the Spanish Civil War years. After the Spanish Civil War, it's interesting because in 1939, Atletico Madrid was actually connected with the Frankist Air Force, so the Spanish Air Force of the Nationalists who had won the Civil War, and it became known as Atletico Aviación. And it's true that during the 1940s, Atletico became the preferred club of the regime of Francisco Franco and the Nationalists, and Real Madrid fell a little bit by the wayside. However, in 1940, the head coach of Atletico Madrid, Ricardo Zamora, was actually arrested on suspicion of being a communist. So it isn't entirely clear cut that Atletico was a right wing government aligned club and Real Madrid suddenly became this anti-establishment club. 
In any case, in the 1950s, this position seems to have switched as Real Madrid started to outcompete Atletico once again. And so the government switched its allegiance, so to say, to Real Madrid as Real Madrid started to win various Champions League Cups and putting them on the map internationally. This led Atletico fans to start chanting to Real Madrid fans that they were El Equipo del Gobierno, La Vergüenza del País, meaning they were the team of the government and the shame of the country. It's around this time that we do start to see the beginning of the associations that still exist to this day of the supporters of both Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid, that those supporting Real Madrid were of higher class, more to do with the establishment and Spain in general, whereas Atletico was more working class and slightly more anti-establishment. The lines here would be blurred slightly when a third successful team from Madrid, Vallecano, would also come onto the scene because this was the very left-wing, working-class, more communist-aligned club with its supporters, while Atletico took somewhat of a more middle ground in this struggle. In 1959, the derby of Madrid would come to international attention when the two clubs met in the semi-final of the European Cup. Now, Real Madrid won the first leg with 2-1, but then Atletico came back to win 1-0 in the second leg. It went to another round-off, and in that one, Real Madrid eventually did defeat Atletico Madrid with 2-1. But... Atletico would get their revenge for two years running because in 1960 and in 1961 they would beat Real Madrid and go on to win the Copa del Generalísimo in Spain. Now, it's in the 1970s that the success of both these clubs flips once again. And Real Madrid, who had been incredibly successful throughout the 1950s and in the 1960s, then lost out to Atletico, who became the more successful club in the 1970s. It's during this time that Atletico Madrid was very open to taking in players from South America, uh, particularly from uh, Brazil and Argentina, where several of these very good players came from. This was in stock contrast to Real Madrid, who had a strictly non-whites policy that was espoused by their owner, Bernabeu, and was even elaborated upon. They even decided not to sign a Portuguese player because they felt that he was not white enough to play in the team. This was, of course, in contrast to Atletico, who were signing players regardless of race and were doing much better for it. There's a life lesson if ever you need one. In any case, this led to Real Madrid chanting Indios, at the fans of Atletico Madrid. This, of course, meaning Indians because of the idea that they were signing all these players from South America. In any case, the Atletico fans, because they were winning, didn't really mind the nickname, and this has actually become a nickname the fans use for themselves these days as well. In general, then, it seems that most of the fans of Atletico actually come from the city of Madrid itself, particularly the southern side of the city. That's in somewhat contrast to Real Madrid, and although many in the city of Madrid themselves, of course, also support, uh, well, not also, they don't support both, but they do uh, either support Atletico or Real, Real Madrid has a much wider fan base, particularly throughout the broader Castile region, of which Madrid is, of course, the biggest city. And this can actually be seen in the crests of both of these clubs. Of course, Real Madrid has the crown, which was granted to it from its 1920, being named the Royal Club of Madrid. Madrid, while Atletico Madrid actually has the bear and the tree, which appears on the coat of arms of the city of Madrid itself. So there's an interesting regional versus city divide that we see in these clubs, as well as the socio-political backgrounds that I've explored in this video. In any case, Real Madrid has by far been the most successful club, having won the Spanish League 35 times, the Copa del Rey 40 times, and the Champions League the most of all uh, of any club at 14 times. Atletico Madrid has won the Spanish League 11 times, the Copa del Rey 10 times and has yet to win the Champions League. But let me know in the comments below, who do you support? Are you a fan of the red and white stripes of Atletico Madrid or are you a classic royalist and a, a favourite of Real Madrid? Let me know in the comments below if you support either of these teams, if you're from Spain, if so, if uh, where you're from and why you support which one. Have you been to a uh, derby match in Madrid and what's the atmosphere like there? I have yet to go to a, a match in, in Spain, so I'd be curious to see what that's like and what the fan culture is like. Like that. 
Let me know in the comments as well if you'd like to see any other videos of rivalries in football between clubs and where these come from. I have one coming, of course, on the uh, old firm, so the, the Glasgow rivalry between Celtic and Rangers, as that's a classic and, of course, has a lot of history behind it to go into. But for now, I have been Hilbert and this has been The History.